this tournament once again. Jerry Shang is up there as well. Perfect. Now that back end comes up with the goods only in this breaker. Far from the only mini break we're gonna see though in this tie break. Yeah, he is very good on the move in that backhand. Yeah. High level moving to his left. Two, zero. Kasami. Two, one. And again, not, not shocking. I figured we were going to see a fair number of mini breaks here. the ninth time this year for Minya that he's got into double digits with aces. Eventually gets the breakdown that he has been expecting through a good chunk of this third set. So Minya creeps out in the front for the first time in the breaker. Nico Mejia up at the top left hand portion of your screen. Just in the last couple of minutes, going down a break to Ulysses Blanche. Four three there. Blanche one point away from five three and consolidating. One more, roll one more. Thank you. Those two competing for the right to face Dennis Kudla. The winner here gets Emilio Nava, 6-3 in the third earlier today over Nathan Ponwith. sparingly thrown in those drop shots here today, but that one might have been the best of them, especially off that backhand wing as well. That is, I believe, if I'm thinking back, that's the first backhand dropper that he's thrown in, and to go inside out with it. Flawless stuff there from Facundo Mania.
initially. I thought that might have missed wide and caught the service line, but it's 12 east is now Font Mignon on the day. Again, just the ninth time he's gone over double figures on the year. Three and match points. He's got three looks, does Minya. Well, big moments there. I, I think, again, I'm, I'm stunned that Kasson has been able to win 60% of his second serve points, and that's you know, going to be one of those things that Minya's going to look at after this match, right, and try and sort out what could have been a little bit better. But he does have now his fourth look of the day. First time, though, on his serve, 6-5. there at that approach just a little Six bit off. of indecision from Facundo Mania in the big spot I, listen you give the 20 year old just a ton of credit his heart on those big spots here today has been phenomenal comes up with the perfectly executed forehand there as well so we play on four match points by the wayside now for Facundo Mania how does he handle this next spot it's a pretty big serve for him here Seven, Murphy Kasson once again, just yeah. that slight imbalance causing the error. This is match point number five for Minya.
too good. Absolute smoke show from Fecundo Mania on that high forehand. Lights out good. Match point number six. Just absolutely fearless in the big moments. What a rip from Murphy Casson to fight off the sixth chance. respond to this at this stage of the match. Like that, that massive high forehand once again going inside in to do the damage. Nine, eight, and a seventh match point. Kasson with none. able to get it done on match point number seven. And heartbreak for Kasson, who came 